guys, so today is Tuesday. I hope you guys all had a great weekend and a Valentine's Day. It is so warm right now and I'm just really, really glad because for the past two weeks it's been like in the high 30s, low 40s, really cold. Now it's like a very beautiful sunny, sunny day. And I'm just letting her um, practice her water transfer and her little water sensory bin outdoor. Um, you want more water? Okay. okay. Yeah. And then um, after this, we are actually going to go eat lunch. Oh, hold on. Okay, guys. So we are done with water play outside. And um, yeah, so I'm in my daughter's playroom right now. And it is crazy how many times I clean this room. Um, like every day, I end up like always like um, straightening it out because... I don't know, it constantly is always messy. Um, but yeah, so I started, um, well, I mean, like last night, I actually started sorting things out that, um, things in this room that, like, we've never ever touched before. She doesn't care about, like, playing with it, or, she, I, like, we don't use it, or she just over, you know, like, um, she's too old for it now, so I'm starting to make a donation pile again because, um, I guess, like, because her birthday is next month and I know she's going to get a lot of more toys and um if you guys have been following my channel like Christmas was like what three months ago and she got so many toys so yeah so this room like there, there's not going to be any more room <laughs> to store anything in here anymore but anyway so um I started doing this in um I started doing like a monthly planner just writing down like um, what we're gonna do each day and just lesson plans and activities just to make our day more structured and to make sure that we are being productive every day and make sure I'm balancing out what I'm teaching her and her activities and they're actually like really the activities that we're doing is actually like beneficial and like educational so I started actually putting everything down in this like cheap little Dollar Tree planner and I've been doing pretty good um there are some like you know I've like, I write everything down, and then I make sure that each day we execute, like, you know, everything <laughs> um, that I planned out. There are some days where it's like, um, you know, sometimes plan doesn't go according, you know, things just doesn't go to plan. So, I end up, like, moving an activity to another day just to make sure, like, we do that activity. Um, like, today, I did not expect it to be, like, this warm, so... Um, we just had like, I just had a spontaneous, like, Hey, let's just go play outside with some, like a little bit of like a water activity. Um, cause today we were supposed to actually do some worksheets, uh, for her, like, uh, alphabet recognition and just a little bit of arts and crafts. Uh, we will do that after we eat and after she naps. Oh my God. This freaking dog is so loud. He's loud. Okay. Um, but yeah, so right now she's, she's right now she's actually watching, um, some educational videos and I had to straighten up her little playroom and I'm, I just cook rice. I just cooked rice, um, a couple minutes ago. So I'm waiting on that so, um, we can finally eat, um, lunch. Um, we're going to have some chicken and rice and steamed vegetables today, but, um, yeah. So, um, anyways, um, so I have been doing that, oh my god, she's coming, hi mama, so I've just been doing that, so I'm gonna try, okay, before I, you okay baby, okay, so before I actually continue, like, sorting out things, are you watching your thing, your baby shark, oh, what happened? Wow. And by the way, guys, like, ugh, the living room is just right across from here. I can see her. So, but anyways, I went to Dollar Tree and yesterday, um, I went shopping with my mom and, um, I never seen these before, like these metallic, um, party table covers. And this was actually, like, usually all the, play, uh, you know, all the party stuff is like in the back in the party section. This was actually in like a, like an end cap with all the spring stuff, but, um, they had, like, these really beautiful metallic colors, 
I feel like anyone that's doing like a mermaid theme for their kid's birthday, like they have so many beautiful colors um, you can choose from. But I ended up getting this for, um, I think I'm going to actually use this for my daughter's birthday, which is in a couple weeks now. And then I got this cute little cheap plastic, um, uh, what is it, tooth holder? Because I just, I need to throw my old one away. I got some, um, I got some tape. I found these little cute um, bunny socks, I don't know, I think these are like mouth socks from my daughter. Finally found some Easter soap. And then I got some, a couple pens for myself, just, you know, I don't know, I keep missing the damn pens, um, just for my planner as well. I got some snacks for myself, um, deodorant. I got some band-aids. I feel like we always run out of band-aids because my daughter, like, she's obsessed with band-aids, like, lately for some reason. Um, and by the way, like, these band-aids don't last for a long time. Like, the adhesive, the, what is it, the adhesive is not that strong. Like, it comes off, like, a couple, in, like, one or two hours. And then I got her more bubble bath. And this actually works great, so I'm actually surprised because, I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually surprised and then I just I think I got a couple more things but it's already I put it already in the kitchen pantry but this is it and I'm so so excited because I started buying my daughter's like spring clothes and summer clothes um what happened okay, I'm gonna go there okay I'm gonna go mommy look look at the spongebob Okay, let's go. Yeah, so I started... You like the bubbles? Yeah, so we do... We're a big fan of the bubbles from the Dollar Tree. That it actually works. Um, yeah, but I started buying some of her spring and summer stuff already. Um, the stores are already coming out with it. And I'm super excited to actually make a video about it. Because I think... like I got a bunch of like um, affordable clothes for my daughter. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that video. And okay guys, we are eating lunch now. So I thought we had steamed vegetables earlier, but we actually ran out. So I just cut up some avocado. So, you know, avocado and chicken is pretty good too. Um, and there's some rice. Um, yeah, so this is our lunch. And then I just gave her a little bit of orange juice. There's my baby. Yeah. <laughs> There's Rascal. Rascal's trying to get a piece of her chicken. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna go eat as well, and, um, yeah, so I straightened up her playroom already, and I'm gonna go eat, ooh, okay, I hear the mailman, like, speeding, um, but, yeah, I'm gonna, I was gonna take her to the park today, but I honestly have to do other things, and I really, really just want to take a shower right now, because I feel really disgusting, um, but I... I heard the weather is going to be the same as today, like really beautiful and sunny. So I'm just going to take her tomorrow because um, we do, like, I really do want to do practice um, some of her alphabet activities with her um, also. So, oh my God, my baby eating. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I think she had fun. I think she had fun earlier. Okay. And then I do, I just, uh, I don't know. It's like every day it's like cleaning. I had to straighten out the kitchen. But yeah, guys, um, I'll check you guys out later. I'm gonna go eat. Okay, guys, so I am done straightening um my daughter's playroom. Um, over here is her pile that I'm going to donate. So there's just like a couple of like baby books that she grew out of. Um and like some little toys and some of her like shoes that she got, like hat summer shoes from last year that no longer fit. Um, I need to actually put all together in her old summer clothes as well that don't fit as well. I'm going to put it all in one big pile. Um, but I just started, so, yeah. So I'm going to have, like, one big pile to donate. Um, over here is her little, like, pretend play area. She has her Melissa and Doug, um, cleaning set and her little nursery, her veterinary cart and her little horse. All of these are actually from her godparents. 
And then I do have a couple bags here and also her like potty training toilet. Um, this is everything that I purchased like over the last weekend. Um, I will be doing like a separate video, like I said, so there's more content in my channel. Um, but stay tuned for that because there's going to be a lot. I'm going to be putting more content up. Um, and then, yeah, I got these little frames at Burlington. Be brave, be kind, be humble. And then I got, I put some of her paper, not paperwork, her little artwork. Um, there's a little fan here, which is really, really great for the summer because the AC doesn't really, it really, I don't know, is it AC, you can hardly feel the AC in here in the summer and it gets really hot in here. And then in this little shelf, I like to call her like her little educational shelf because she has, it's mostly toys that are like great educational tools. Like, they're just great educational tools and, like, learning toys. Um, she got a couple of puzzles. Some toys for fine motor skills. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, if you guys want to see, like, a playroom tour, I did make a video, like, a couple months ago. And it pretty much looks the same. So, if you guys want to check that out. I don't really, I don't really want to do a full tour right now. Um, over here, I hate this little shelf. It's like an eyesore because like all the bins are all mismatched. So definitely I got some Dollar Tree bins that they are going to actually be matching. But it's just like full of random things here. But she actually uses this a lot. So yeah, we are going to keep that. And then we have her little pom-pom bins. Um, if you guys see some of like um, the video of like activities that we do like almost daily, we love pom-poms and she loves playing with it. And then these are also like her little cutting vegetable thing. She plays with this. And then um, she has like that big bin of stuffed animals. And I know for sure she does not play with. Like she has like one favorite animal that she just plays with constantly. And the rest she like these, <laughs> these toys she does not. She hardly plays with. So I am going to be donating like a whole bunch of that as well. Um, and I'm going to keep some of it like the little elephant. Because I've had that ever since like my baby shower. You know, like cute little keepsake ones I will be keeping. And then over here is her little bookshelf. Um, I think I showed this in the last playroom tour as well. The bottom ones, these two over here are the ones that we read like daily. And then over here are just books that like she's still too young for it because it's more for like elementary age kids. But I love that majority of the books are actually books that my mom kept for us. Um, these were actually uh, our favorite books growing up. So she saved it for us. Now it's going to be great because like my kid can read like some of my favorite books, you know. And then here are just like random books too as well like that oh, she got from like Christmas gifts and like from her godparents. So I don't know. I don't really want to throw that away. Um, I do have to go through this bin because she just has a lot of, like, still, like, baby toys. Like, she still has, like, some rattles, okay? So, I do have to go through that. Um, this shelf is, like, her little transportation thing. She's been really, really into vehicles. And then over here is her, um, kitchen appliances and stuff. And then she has her soft books and her little photo album. So, I'm going to be doing something with this for sure. And then I need to, like, look at this. Look at all her sunglasses. And then on the top shelf, I just like to keep all the books that, like, um, if I do, like, a theme, or, like, a weekly theme, I like to actually put all the books up there because those are going to be the ones that we are going to be, like, reading throughout the week. And then she has, she loves her little kitchen playset. She got her little kitchen playset. And then this is the one that I got her for Christmas. And I was kind of pissed off because, like, I think I got this for, like, it was on sale for, it was 50%, like, it was $50, and then it was on sale for $40. And then the day after Christmas, <laughs> like, we already assembled it and everything, and she loved it. Um, Yeah, the day after Christmas, it was literally at wa my Walmart for only $15. So, yeah, I should have waited, but, oh, well, you know, she loves it. Um, But, yeah, and then over here... I still have like a, <laughs> I need to put this in other rooms. Um, I just left it here. Um, but this is going to be like some Easter. These are all Easter stuff. And I'm just really, really excited. Um, 
to make some video for you guys. Um, I'm going to have a lot of content coming out soon, so just stay tuned. Um, my primary, like, well, <laughs> um, yeah, so I welcome everyone to this channel, but I really want this to be especially towards, like, um, my followers that are just like me, like stay-at-home moms that are like, especially first-time moms that are, you know, just like myself that are just learning as we go by. Um, because I swear like each, this is going to be my daughter's third summer. Like I've, I've been learning like, you know, here and there and just, um, I learn, you know, <laughs> you live and you learn. So I'm learning definitely, um, on this journey to, into motherhood. Um, but yeah, anyways, if you guys are watching this, um, I want to thank you guys for following this, for following me and following this channel. And especially to my new followers, I thank you guys for following, um, deciding to follow me. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are well. I will, s yeah. Wait, I'm not sure if I'm in, like I'm done with this <laughs> video because I will be showing you guys other things that I will be doing for today. But yeah. Okay, guys. So my child is still eating. So. I, while she is doing that, I'm just going to set up her next activity. So I actually found this really, really cool website. It has tons of like free printable educational worksheets for uh, children aimed towards like pre-K and kindergarten. Um, so my daughter will be two next month. So she's not in school yet, but um, these are just like really, really great um, educational activities to practice with her. So the first one is just like is this a big letter A and then, oh, okay. <laughs> and then it has these little dots so you can actually like, like um, obviously explain to your kid what the letter is. Um, and then also you can um, give them some dot markers or like little stamps so they can actually like put some, you know, put it inside the circle. Or also, like what I'm doing right now is um, you can do pom-poms so they can actually also practice their fine motor skills. They had to put the little pom-poms in the little circle. Oh, look at me. I can't even do it. <laughs> um, but, okay, yeah. So you guys get it. Um, I also have like little stamps for her, so I'm going to get that real quick. Um, like after I show you guys this. And by the way... <laughs> I got my daughter some off-brand, off um, what are those, like, washable markers, um, and it claimed to be washable markers, and, like, my daughter drew all over this table, and till now, like, I'm having a hard time, like, um, take it off, so if you guys have, like, great advice for me, like, how to take this off of the table, uh, feel free to comment down below and help, help a mother out over here. Um, yeah, but I did buy her, um, I'm going to, like, be, it's going to be a gift for her birthday. I did buy her a whole bunch of actual, like, Crayola Ultra Washable Markers because I heard great things about it. And hopefully I don't have to keep scrubbing, um, scrubbing, like, marks away. But anyway, so that is the first activity. And then the other activity is this heart shape. Um, just A, B, C, D, E, F. Um, <laughs> just, it's another, um, letter recognition activity, so, and then I got her little letters here just to help her, um, you know, just to help her practice and learn, um, recognize and identify her alphabet, so, um, she, she likes doing this, um, before I had the whole alphabets and a whole bunch of, like, the puzzles pieces, but this time I'm gonna do it, like, um, four or six letters at a time, just to make sure she's like fully grasping and learning each of her letters, you know, and just not over overwhelming her with a whole bunch of letters all at once. But yeah, these are the activities that we are gonna do. And then like I said, I'm gonna actually get her stamps later on. So maybe she wants to stamp this instead of putting pom-poms on. Um, but yeah, that is going to be some of the activities we are doing. And for sneak peek, because I told you guys I got my daughter a whole bunch of summer and um, what, spring and summer clothes. So I got this beautiful set actually on Amazon. So this is one of the th items that I got her for um, for the you know for her summer and spring wardrobe. Yes, baby. 
Okay, so like I said, I got this beautiful set for her. Um, so this is a sneak peek of everything that I, uh, some of the things that I'm going, that I got her for her uh, spring and summer wardrobe. So stay tuned because I'm going to actually have um, a video for that. Everything that I got her, like shoes, dresses, sets. Yeah, so I'm really excited to show you guys because they are super inexpensive and um, really affordable. And um, yeah, <laughs> so I will be doing that. Um, but I think this is about it, guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog right here because I... I do really, I just really desperately want to take a shower, um, and just need to clean upstairs as well, um, yeah, I can't, my child is still eating, <laughs> she is still eating her lunch, yeah, so, yeah, I still, I'm gonna get her cleaned up and let her do independent play, um, after she does this activity, um, but yeah, okay guys, so we are doing our little activity, so, yeah, we decided to do the little stamp because it actually fits perfectly in the little um, circle. <coughs> and she, you need help opening it? Okay. And guys, she's just had a complete meltdown because her little baby shark bandage came off. Oh my goodness. Daddy. Like, she is definitely entering Yay. her little tantrum Daddy. phase. <laughs> um, yeah. So she's definitely... Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to have to give her a nap pretty soon because she's just like not having it right now. <laughs> Is that Coco Melon Bus? So every time, like, our, um, our school bus comes, Bye. like, um, our, oh, what is it? the local, um, school bus comes, she gets so excited, and, like, her favorite song on Coco Melon is Wheels on a Bus, so she gets excited every time she sees it, like, morning and afternoon, and it's just so cute. But yeah, guys, this is the... I keep saying like, oh my god, yeah, I really need to take a shower right now. But yeah, so yeah, see you guys in my next video. Bye.